Can you give the sum and difference of these basic fractions in 5 seconds? If you can, you don't need to finish this video. If you cannot, this video is for you. Add the following basic fractions. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is equal to 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 half. 2 fourths or 1 half plus 1 fourth is the same as 1 half plus 1 fourth, which is equal to 3 fourths. Find the sum or difference of the following basic fractions. Look at the whole or four-fourths. One whole minus one-half is equal to two-fourths or one-half. Two-fourths or one-half minus one-fourth is equal to one-fourth. One-fourth plus one-half or two-fourths is equal to three-fourths. Three-fourths plus one-fourth is equal to one whole. Add or subtract the following basic fractions. One whole minus one-fourth is equal to three-fourths. One-half minus one-fourth is equal to one fourth. Three fourths minus one fourth is equal to one half or two fourths. Three fourths minus one half is one fourth. Give the sums of the following basic fractions. One fourth plus one fourth is equal to one half. One half plus one-fourth is equal to three-fourths. Three-fourths plus three-fourths is equal to one and one-half. One-half plus three-fourths is equal to one and one fourth. Again, give the sums of the following basic fractions. One fourth plus one half is equal to three fourths. One half plus one half is equal to one whole. Three fourths plus one half is one and one fourth. Three fourths plus three fourths is equal to one and one half. At this time, let's give the sums and differences of the following basic fractions without the illustrations and I want you to use your imagination. 1 half minus 1 fourth. Yes, 1 fourth. 3 fourths plus 1 fourth. 1 whole. 1 whole minus 3 fourths. 1 fourth. 1 half plus 1 fourth. 3 fourths. 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. 1 half. 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. 1 and 1 half. 1 whole minus 1 half. 1 half. 1 half plus 3 fourths. 1 and 1 fourth. Let me give you another set of exercises. Give the sums and differences of the following basic fractions. You may pause the video if you want to answer this on your own. The answers are 1-4. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, click like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this with your friends. Again, whatever problems we have, whether in math or in life, there is always one or more solutions. In adding and subtracting simple fractions, we don't need to write the solution. We simply have to use shapes, illustrations, and our imagination. 
Similarly, some of our basic concerns are repeating and do not need overthinking. We simply have to recall how we resolved them before. This is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you from Cagayan de Oro, your Pinay math teacher.